Hello. Okay, so I want to show you how to read your progress report. Hide that. Okay, so when you open it up, go into your email, and then you're going to find, I sent you an email that says, I'd like to share this with you, and then here we are. So at the top will be your name, and if you look in row three here, it says current overall score, and this is your current percent. Okay, so for example, 75%. Okay, the next line says outcome based items. Oh, sorry, non outcome based items. So, this is your homework. This is all the remote learning that you do. This is keeping up with all the activities in Google Classroom, and it makes up 15% of your grade. Okay, so for example, 64%. Okay, so that means this person has done a little bit more than half of their homework. Okay. The next section says outcome based. So this is all of the outcomes that you're able to show me you understand from the math assessments, okay? And we've only done one so far, um, but there will be more and I'll show you, okay? So um, that's 77% and that makes up the rest of the grade, okay? Underneath that it says outcome based on a point scale. So everything on our on the spreadsheet is out of four, except for the percentages, okay? So this person, how they, how successful they are on their outcomes is almost a three, okay? So if you take a look and you wanna see, well, where does all this data come from? Okay, take a look here where it says um, non-outcome based items, okay? And if you go down to row 11, it shows you that your total homework is out of four, okay? And how much you've completed would be the number right below it, okay? So if you've done all your homework, you would have a four. If you've missed a few, you'd have a number just under four, okay? And then that 64.1, that tells you the percentage. That's the 2.6 turned into a percent, okay? Uh, next, it tells us about our outcomes, okay? So this, these are the overall outcomes or the units that we're going to be looking at. So you'll see the first one says homework, so that's not counted here. But here are the general skills like how you communicate, can you do algebra, uh, can you do arithmetic. Then the next one is rational numbers, okay? Then we're going to have square and square roots. Then we're going to talk about shapes and then we'll keep on going. So you'll see the big units, so the total for all of those units are in rows 13 and 14, okay? The next one says specific learning outcomes. So here's where you can see where you get your homework mark from, okay? Um, next it shows uh, how well you do with your arithmetic, okay? How well you do with algebra, though we haven't done algebra yet how well you communicate mathematically, how well you understand rational numbers, that's the first one. And then R2 is how well you understand adding and subtracting fractions, okay? And if we go down here, this will be multiplying and dividing fractions, and then this is order of operations, okay? So as we do more and more assessments, we will fill in more and more of these outcomes, okay? So, all of the G's together, your mark is there. All of the R's together, the mark is there, okay? Now what I really like about this is underneath, it shows you everything that makes up your mark, okay? On the left-hand side, it shows the date, okay? And that's going to be the date I assigned it. So the beginning of week one, the beginning of week two, etc. And then it shows you all the items that you're supposed to complete. Okay, and here these were all homework, okay? Um, some of them you can't do anymore because I wanted you to complete them for class, so it was a homework check. But others you are still more than welcome to finish. So if you see a zero here, you can go to Google Classroom and see, can I finish that one still? Okay, so it shows you which ones you've done and which ones you haven't done. Now here is our first assignment that we did last week. And this shows you that there were four outcomes that it was looking at, okay? It was looking at arithmetic, communication, rational numbers, and adding and subtracting fractions, okay? So you can see how well you did in each of those outcomes, okay? And then as we build, um, you'll get better and better.
Okay, so you can see here, the rest of it is all homework. So I have added week one, week two, week three, and your first assignment, okay? And so that is how you read your progress report. It is live. Any changes that I make will automatically show up on your sheet. And if you have any questions or something isn't up to date yet, you just send me an email and let me know. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.